Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to San Diego, California. I am back. I think we have quite the day planned. I've been flying all night, but feeling very energized. Headed down to pick up my bag and out to see my loves. I have missed them. It was hard to be away from them this week, but uh, feeling, as I said, energized closed a chapter in my life this week, our lives this week. I attended my last meetings for my work and uh, have some loose ends to close up the next couple of weeks and then we close that chapter completely. And I'm feeling really good about it. We uh, have been very sentimental all week. I've been part of the project I worked on for a long time and, and it's uh, bit of a legacy thing for me but I realize that it's time to go forward and move on and it feels really good so I'm excited to get the day started and go see Ben and Shelby and I think we're gonna go have some fun okay so if you're interested in coming here it's called the Laurel Street San Diego Airport parking type it into Google Maps it'll come up doing well how are you Pretty good. You guys have a good view up there. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Yep. Especially the sunsets and uh, sunsets. Yeah. It's going to be 10. Okay. Totally worth it, especially if you come during the uh, sunset golden hour because the sun is totally going to be setting over the water and just lighting everything up. Somebody's happy. Mm. Who's happier? I'm not sure. <laughs> is your tail wagging? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what kind of fun we can have today. Nothing like uh, hitting the ground running. But uh, yeah, it's a Saturday. I got to fill you in. I tried doing some vlogging up at uh, my mom's house, but you know, all those fires that are raging in California were fueled by wind wind made it a little difficult to film outside and send the drone up. I even drove all the way up to Idlewild just to try to get some really cool stuff. But had a good visit with mom and grandpa, which is what ultimately matters. And uh, now that our wolf pack is complete, let's go have some fun. Okay, the first stop is Little Italy and it's like so close to the airport. And we lucked out today because there seems to be like a uh, Saturday morning market going on. We're gonna be on the move potentially, so we don't need to stock up on uh, produce. Not right now. We can do that when we get a destination destination set. Wow. That fresh bread looks so good. It does. You know it'd go really well with all that bread? Cheese. Yeah, some really good cheese. This looks so good, guys. Wow. Those tomatoes look awesome. And then there are grapes back there that looked incredible. Hmm, we can get Alaska seafood. We can. <laughs> You want berries? I do. Yum. All right, 16 original. Thank you. If we're gonna share this, we better not take big sips. Really? Yeah, it'll go quick. <laughs> Does it taste good? Yeah. We got French white on the left, sourdough on the right. Mm. Super cute. French bread, let's do French bread. All right. I have samples if you'd like to try them. And I think I'm pretty safe. All right. <laughs> 275. You know what the French do with the baguette like this, right? What do they do? Oh, okay. But they don't have paper on it usually. <laughs> I hope you wore deodorant. You know, wait, you flew. I did. I no, no, you, fl on this you flew all night long. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, I think we did pretty well. We walked out of there with some berries, a baguette, and a green drink. Not bad at all. It's uh, very tempting to just go splurging, but we're still literally traveling out of our backpacks and we don't necessarily know where our next destination is going to be. So we're just going to take it as it goes. Okay, honey, first impressions of Little Italy. What do you think? I really would like to come back here in the evening and stroll like you do in Italy in the yeah. evenings. I loved it. It was awesome. Well, guys, we cannot tell a lie. 
we went back to my dad's house and totally just vegged out for what four or five hours yeah. took showers and we're all kind of rested up but we wanted to come back out and close this video out but beck said there has to be something about la jolla we just seem to be drawn here we keep coming back here different parts of it but we keep ending up back over here <laughs> well there's a reason why it's the amazing. view here is absolutely amazing and we're here for golden hour so the plan is to uh capture some shots and then our buddy jacks austin recommended a place to go get some fish tacos here found this delicious place to eat. Be sure to stick around because while Ben was out droning, I went and captured some time lapses of the sunset. Pretty spectacular tonight with all of the clouds and the sky and the, and the uh, smoke from the fires. This is spectacular outdoor seating. We can enjoy it since we have Shelby with us and they even have some heaters. Woo, it's toasty over here. I think we're gonna sit here where it's a little cooler. All right, one of us is heading in. Should I go uh, pick up dinner? Yep, you know what I like. My choice? Your choice. Anything I want? Anything. Anything. You want. All right. Make it really good. Okay, I seriously had the hardest time making a decision. What do you think? I sent you inside and all you came back with was a bowl of soup. Oh, give me a break. Can't catch any slack here. Just in case we didn't clarify, this is called El Pescador Fish Market. Dinner has arrived and Benny made some good choices, a seafood salad and some fish tacos. I'm starving, so we're gonna eat. You guys get to watch the time lapses off of Alfie and be sure to subscribe so you can see what we're up to tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Good night. Mm -hmm.